So it's always good, um, before we go any further, just to check that everything is lined up, looks nice and neat, and the crucial bit is you've remembered to create, at the moment, three components. That's really, really important. Uh, next bit I want to show you is how we move things around. So it's a bit of a um, kind of a tricky one to master, I think, moving stuff. But the moving tool is the one down here with the four kind of arrows coming out of the center. Now, a lot of people, when they move it, they just grab it and they can like kind of wiggle it around. What it becomes very difficult to do is to get things to line up perfectly. And that's kind of what we need for these next few stages. So if I just plonk this somewhere because I've, let's pretend I can't really line it up properly. The biggest trick I can tell you when you move stuff is to use an edge or a corner. So you'll notice if I go down to this bottom corner here, SketchUp's really good at like snapping two things. I can then, because it's connected on that corner, SketchUp will now line up with other corners, other edges. You can see it's kind of telling me where it sh thinks it should go. So if I can then zoom in a little bit, I can make sure that those two corners line up perfectly. If I wanted to do it with that one, I've got those options. So always when we move stuff, try and use a corner to move it. It's really, really important we do that. For some reason, you might not have the right thing selected. So if you want to move something and it keeps picking up the side and you want to move this end, click that first with the select tool and then go to move and now you'll have a much easier time of picking which corner or which edge you want to do. The final bit I want to show you is something that's going to save us quite a lot of time later on, which is how we can copy a component. So I've got my edge or my gable end selected. I've got the move tool. So I just want that move tool selected. And then what I'm going to do is before I do anything else, I'm just going to tap control once and you'll notice a little tiny plus symbol appears. Now what's going to happen now is rather than it moving it, it's going to move a second version of the same thing. Now, I clicked on the far corner because what I can now do is get SketchUp to line up those two corners. I could do it up here or anywhere else, but it will now snap to that part. And when I zoom out, I've now got two identical gable ends, which is really important for the next bits we're going to do.